good evening everyone so today we are going to see about the estimation of hydraulic power which is required for a utility utility pump and the utility pump is being deployed for carrying out a semi batch reaction and today we are going to solve this using a energy balance approach and we are going to take a case study to determine it and the case that we have taken is uh, we got a semi batch reaction at 55 degrees centigrade and the heat of reaction is found to be approx 500 kilojoule per kg of ksm and the batch size is around 500 kg the reaction is being taken in a 10 kl reactor and for the same we are going to perform uh, the calculation so first of all while doing this we need to estimate the cooling capacity requirement and the second step is estimation of utility flow requirement and then finally we need to calculate the hydraulic power and coming to this first cooling capacity requirement and here the input is the batch size it is 500 kgs and the heat of reaction so this is found to be 500 kilojoule per kg of ksm and total heat liberation so this is going to be 500 multiplied with this heat of reaction so we got around 250,000 of kilo kilojoules and this I will be converting into kilo calories by dividing with 4.184 this is in kilo calories and now cooling capacity requirement so this is going to be the total heat liberation divided by 3024 and you will be getting in TRs so you need approx 20 TR and this is the cooling capacity requirement now we need to estimate the utility flow requirement so in this utility flow requirement we need to understand what is the utility used so here the utility used is cooling tower water or RT water and the utility in temperature so let's say this is at 30 degrees and utility out so this is going to be approx at 34 degrees centigrade since it's a cooling tower water the density is going to be approx 1000 kg per meter cube and the specific heat so this is 1 kilo calorie per kg degree centigrade and from this we need to calculate the mass flow rate so the mass flow rate equals to the total heat liberation that is nothing but 59751.43 kilo calorie divided by cp delta t so here cp is 1 and delta t is 34 minus 30 so we need approx 14938 kg of utility flow so we can say this as mass and let's say the semi batch reaction is being performed in total 2 hours of time and mass flow rate mass flow rate required is going to be total mass divided by the dosing time and this is in kgs per hour so it is around 7469 kgs per hour and we know the density so let's convert this into volumetric flow rate so since the density of water is going to be 1 
and the mass flow rate is equals to volumetric flow rate so this is in liter per hour and i'll be converting this into meter cube per hour by dividing by 1000 so it is around 7.468 meter cube per hour and here i want to consider the efficiency so let's say the efficiency is going to be approx 80 percent so the volumetric flow rate this is going to be the theoretical volumetric flow rate divided by the efficiency so here we got around 9.34 meter cube per hour so this amount of flow is required and now the second part is done so we will be proceeding with this pump power requirement And coming to this pump hydraulic power requirement so we got a basic formula that is hydraulic power equals to flow rate like the volumetric flow rate into the differential pressure so this volumetric flow rate is going to be same and this is going to be in terms of q its notation and coming to differential flow rate so let's say this is dp and the breakup for this differential pressure is going to be as rho gh so this is going to be q into rho into g into h and now let's take the conversions and as well as the units for this particular formula so the units for volumetric flow rate so let's take it as meter cube per hour and then for density it is kg per meter cube and v is the acceleration due to gravity it is 9.81 meters per second square and the next one is the differential head so we can take it as in meters and after taking these units so the formula can be converted or modified as power equals to q into rho into g into h divided by 3.6 into 10 power 6 and now we are going to apply this formula and you will be getting in terms of kilowatts the power is going to be and let's do this let's say the reactor is at third floor or fourth floor so i'll be considering the head as approx uh, 15 meter rho already we know and g is going to be the constant it's 9.81 and now let's apply the formula power in kilowatts this is going to be Q, we know the volumetric flow rate and rho we know it as 1000 and then the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square and the differential head let's say it is 15 meter this divided with 3.6 into 10 power 6 so this is in kilowatts now what I am going to do is, I am going to consider the efficiency of the motor and let's say the efficiency is approx 75% the actual power requirement this is going to be 0.38 divided by the efficiency and this is in kilowatts so actual power requirement is going to be 0.5 in kilowatt and let's convert this into horsepower by dividing with 0.746 mm -hmm. so we need approx 1 hp motor to perform the task so this is how 
we need to derive the pump hydraulic power requirement depending upon the scenario and if you have any questions in this particular calculation so you can write us a mail at pharmacalci823 at the rate gmail.com and if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and also please share it with your dear ones thanks for watching the video